In today's video, I wanted to talk about something that's like really hard for me to talk about. Something I personally have struggled with myself. I think that a lot of people would relate to this. I just dawned on me that this was like a recurring theme that happened with a lot of relationships I've had. And I guess I'm just not afraid to talk about it and feel vulnerable um, in this form in the space. Today's video is going to be about feeling like you're not good enough. Being around people who don't make you feel like you are enough. That can mean so many different things to so many different people, but overwhelmingly just whatever it is, feeling like you're not enough, like you're not whole enough to, to be good enough. And this is something that could apply to so many different people, not just narcissists. Um, even though in my personal life, the people that I've dealt with that have made me feel this way, majority of the time were narcissists. And before I go into like my experience with it, I wanna just kind of describe why I think narcissists do this. From my point of view, I think that the whole premise with a narcissist is to boost their self-esteem and boost their ego in such a way that most of the time it's going to mean putting you down um, because they don't have the security, the, um, the self-esteem to be able to provide this for themselves. And if you feel really bad, if you feel <laughs> like crap, if you feel like you're not worth much, then in turn, you're going to be able to give them the supply that they need. So let's say like, for example, you are taking a class, you're going to college, or you just went back to school, and you're really proud of that, and you're trying to really apply yourself, um, and you're dating someone who's narcissistic, right? Um, they don't want to talk about your school or schooling. They don't want to talk about how interested you are in this course when you try and bring it up. Um, instead, they, be they belittle you, and they make you feel like you're inadequate um, they make you feel like whatever you're studying is stupid, it doesn't matter. And in turn, it puts you down, it makes you feel like nothing you're doing matters, and it makes them feel like they're smarter, they know better than you, and they, they pretty much gain supply off of that, right? By putting you down. That's essentially what I mean by narcissists taking a, a dig at your worth and making you feel like you're not good enough. Um, or things that you do don't meet up to this standard or, you know, whatever. Um, now, for me personally, I struggled with this a lot periodically. And I feel like not until now, I feel like it was like a watershed moment for me. Like, I realized that there was like, okay, a pattern. Like, my father was narcissistic my ex was narcissistic and it's like a periodic thing right um and i think what drew me to them was the feeling that i had to prove something like the feeling that okay this whole thing of being put down started from early childhood from my father telling me i was nothing I would never achieve anything and that's messed up right um, but he had his own issues he was in his disease so it didn't matter to him to tell a young child that they weren't gonna be anything or achieve any sort of greatness right that was just them getting supply um, very sad but that's how that works with these individuals but anyways I learned from very young that I needed to be validated like I never got the love and support um, that I deserved or pretty much really needed to get when I was younger so it kind of turned into like a pattern for me and I did it unknowingly that's the crazy part about it because like I said watershed moment didn't realize I was doing this until pretty much recently um, that I was seeking out partners that number one diminished me diminished my goals and i felt like i had to somehow get validation from them 
to feel validated in what I was doing, in my life choices, my path, my trajectory, um, and kind of like this sick back and forth tug of war. I would do something that I wanted to do and then they would diminish it and then I would feel like I have to prove something and, and try and work and work and stay in this relationship that wasn't working and was toxic to somehow get some sort of approval. Um, so I felt like I was kind of soothing that need for attention and acceptance that I had never gotten. And thank goodness <laughs> I caught this and I know what's going on now, but essentially that's what kept me stuck. I had a real issue with my worth and what I could accomplish in life. And this happened for years, guys. Like, I, I really realized that I had it rough and I didn't have a lot of value in myself, a lot of worth. And I, I cared so much about people's opinions of me for a while. Um, and honestly, I think it really shaped me to be like a no nonsense, I don't care about your opinion, I'm gonna do what I want type of person. And not in a rude way, I just, I learned probably the hardest way possible that people's opinions of you don't add up to your worth in life. Uh, you control that, you know? And people are gonna think what they wanna think. And people who have a negative opinion of, of you for no real reason, um, people that doubt you, people that put you down, um, that's saying enough about who they are and what they're about. And it should say nothing about who you are. I wanna repeat that again. People who act like that, it says more about who they are and it says nothing about your character, what you bring to the table. It says absolutely nothing because their actions show their character and who they are. People who put others down and try and make it seem like you're not worth anything, they honestly feel like they're not worth anything. That's why they're putting that on you, right? Because they have a low self value. But you, on the other hand, you are worth something. You do bring something to the table. What you do does matter. And I don't wanna get emotional in this video because as I say in a lot of these videos, I wish someone had told me this and reaffirmed me when I felt like I didn't have worth, when I felt like I was lost, when I felt like no one believed in me, right? But it takes someone getting out of those dark days, getting out of the trenches, so to speak, to pull other people out and really wake people up to the, the notion that what you're doing, it, it doesn't... You are not defined by what someone else thinks of you. Um, narcissists tend to think that um, they won't be valid, they won't be important unless you are stroking their ego, unless you are giving to to this persona, right? Unless you're fluffing them up and, and propping them up. But little do you know, when you're doing that, you're not propping yourself up. Right, you're not giving yourself the the um, the ability to do what you want to do, the um, accolades, the um, the um, the pats on the back that you deserve. Right, you're not doing enough for yourself, and when you feel like nothing you do is good enough, and you feel like you're just giving and giving and giving. Um, the worst part of it is feeling like, okay, I'm giving so much, why can't this person see that? Why doesn't this person care enough to give me some sort of, you did good, or thank you so much. Sometimes a thank you is the most that we, we it's all we want is a thank you, or some sort of sign that they are happy about what's happening. They are appreciative, that's the word, they're appreciative of it. You have to understand, it's not so personal as you may think it is. You may think that they're just out to hurt you. You may think they're being vindictive, but it's honestly from a place of internal ignorance. They can't support and be all about something that they personally just are not about. It's not in their character, and that could be for a number of reasons. It could be because they were told, get this, they were told by narcissists in their life 
that they weren't good enough, that they couldn't do it. So in turn, they believe that and they tell other people why they can't achieve anything. At a certain point, I couldn't change them. I couldn't make them have the same vision and the same kind of hunger to, to achieve more. I couldn't force that on them. The only thing I could change was me staying in a situation that was keeping me sad, that was keeping me from reaching my goals, right? And the best thing I ever did was walk away. The best thing I ever did was let it go. The best thing I ever did was put myself first. And hopefully, if you're watching this video, you do the same thing. I promise you, it's a dark, dark journey sometimes when you feel like you can't do enough, you can't be enough. But, um, again, I'm not going to get emotional. But if you are on your journey and you feel like you can never be good enough, this is to tell you that what you are right now is so good. Until next time, be well, be safe, and take care, guys. Love you and peace out.